Hey guys, welcome back to Night in the Woods, part 7. We're on our way to see our friends at their places of employment. Hello, another cat cat. One day we're going to go in the tunnels, but I don't know when that day will be. Hello, friend. Hey, hey, May May. Totally, what's up, dude? We're thinking about going to jail. Mm. Interesting choice. Like you're planning on going? Like you're afraid of going? Yeah, like you're planning on going? I think I could break out. Maybe I should, like, test my skills of escape? I feel like the risk is bigger than a possible reward. Yeah. What brought this up? Have a nightmare about going to jail. My cousin went to jail. My other cousin Jen said it was inevitable. Oh man, you're not inevitable. I mean, it's not inevitable. No, go back. I am definitely inevitable. The inevitable Greg. Is Angus around today? Nah, he's off doing some stuff. What stuff? Um, family stuff. They're not worth talking about. Yeesh. You wanna hang out? Got a lot to do. Yeah, man, let's go. Um, got a lot to do. Cool, later. Yeah, we wanna go see the chick first. Before we commit to that, because we did hang out with him yesterday. And if we never hang out with her, she might feel like we're being a neglectful friend. We must have passed her establishment when we were on the power lines. Guess we'll backtrack. Hey. Excuse me. Yeah? I'm looking for a park store. Oh, <laughs> you just missed it. What? You, you've got an accent. Where are you from? Russia. How'd you end up all the way out here? I'm hiking the Great Eastern Decidious Trail. Oh, wow. How was that? Did you see any bear? Did you see any bears? Not so far. They eat people sometimes. Actually, all of your bears around here mostly eat garbage. Rude! That's what I was thinking. My god, said there was a park store here? It's gone. It used to be right here. But now there's a snack falcon. Do you know where I can get supplies? Snack Falcon, dude. I guess I can find something in there. <clears throat> yeah, man. They got all kinds of cool stuff. Probably all perishable, though. Hmm. Isn't everything perishable? We're all going to perish. Everything's going to perish. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, they've got granola bars, I think. Spasibo? What's possible? Thanks. Oh, Russia. Okay, bye. friend. Hey, BB. Hey, May. How's it going? 
got a load of rock salt to move. Came in early this year and like a crap load of snow shovels. Usually the distro place doesn't goof up like this. Maybe it's run by weather wizards. Yeah, that's not a bad theory. So what's up? Want to hang out tonight? I'm working. If you want to like come along. Oh, I was thinking we'd go play putt puck out in Hunwick. Me? That's actually not a bad idea. But sorry, gotta work. Aw, oh, jeez. What even is the point? Paychecks, rent, food, medicine, that kind of thing. So do you want to come along or not? Oh, uh, well, yes. House call. Didn't you just, like, refuse to do house calls? Nope. Why? It's called a job. People pay you to do it. Ideally, at least. You coming? There's a thing back here by the driveway. Yeah, she's an old lady. She got weird shit in her yard. It's like a windmill. Yep. I've never been back here before. May Borowski, you have been, you, you have now been here. You've been here now? What did I read? My god. It's nice. Yeah, just a bunch of old cabins people turned into houses. From hunting camps. So don't let like, get shot or anything. Why am I being attacked by fireflies? Buck season isn't for a few days, right? Well, folks get impatient. For murder. It ain't murder if it's an animal. We're all animals. That's dark. Hold that thought. You gonna knock? Thank you for coming on such short notice. No problem. I can sleep through a four alarm fire, but that furnace? We'll take a look at it. Ever since Jean passed, I just can't abide that thumping. Understandable. Jean was such a darling man. Hey, what did she mean by hold that thought? Wait for it? I'll never forgive them for taking him away. Uh-huh. Ain't like I didn't treat him right. I looked it up on the internet. He didn't smell or nothing. Wait. For it? You can't take a woman's husband just because he's dead. There it is. Holy God. Took him right off that couch. It's a crime. Yeah, a crime was definitely committed all right. They just couldn't abide by not being able to tax him anymore. That's what it was. Well, don't talk your ear off about it. Come on, take a look at the fridge while you're here. We bill by the half hour. Good job. Yeah, it's a nice fridge. What's the problem? Oh, there's no problem. It's just a classic and an original Luna Freeze. Wow. They were all the rage when I was your age. The la they last forever. They make me feel so young. I saw one of these the other night when I got back into town. Oh, really? Where? Upside down under some logs in a creek and ravine. Mm. So, furnace? Oh, yes, right through here to the basement. Sounds good. Come on, May. All right, we'll be down there for a bit. Please remember not to lock us in. What? Last time we sent 
someone. He got locked in the basement. I assure you that did not happen. Um, he called me from your basement. Your man did smell a bit of booze when he came by. Oh, okay. Busted. Or something. Okay, down we go. It was nice meeting you. I don't really know who you are, little person. <laughs> wow, thank you. Oh man, I love creepy basements. And why wouldn't you? Look at all this splendor. Jeez, she's got a lot of junk. Maybe she's got a few more husbands stacked in the corner. <laughs> All right, let's get this done so we can go home. Isn't it illegal to smoke indoors? It is. Well, 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 be the criminal. It's a dummy. I'm trying to quit. So I chew on this thing. What? Notice no smoke coming out of it? No smoke at all? But like I've seen you smoke. Yeah, not indoors. I totally thought it was real. Where did you think the smoke was going? I thought you were swallowing it. <laughs> hey. Hey, do you know how smoking works? Oh, I'm sorry I'm not a smoking scientist, Beatrice. Good lord, what else don't you know? Sorry if I didn't get a degree in cigaretteology. What even was your college, or major in college? Kicking ass and getting rad. <laughs> so that's the furnace? Yes, that's the furnace. I've decided his name is Clanky. Okay. You just hang out. I'm going to fix this right, right quick. Don't, like, break anything. What am I going to break? This basement is full of crap. Oh, geez. Okay. Shouldn't be long. Can I help? Nope. Why am I here, then? Because you wanted to come along. Just chill. Jeez, this is one old ass fan. It's made of metal and you could chop your fingers right off. Mm. I bet I could make something out of all this junk. Jeez. Who would even have this much junk? Can't get the bat. Oh. This looks useful. This looks useful. Uh, did we just steal this lady's fishing pole? Can we steal this too? I need your expertise to fix this stupid furnace, Professor. And yeah, I can't take the bat. Okay. Well, I have stolen things. This could be useful for fixing the furnace. Yeah, I could see this being useful. Alright. So I can't carry anything else. So I'm going to say this is enough stuff. Was I supposed to be collecting stuff? I thought I was just stealing. So... Got a gnome, a fishing pole, a badminton rack, and a fan. Got two wheels and a turny thing with no wheel. Probably just need to turn the turny thing. To open up the heat pipes. To turn off the fire. Let's open up the heat pipes. Clanky's probably got a load of heat but can't get out. To get Clanky all hot and bothered. We will teach Clanky to love. I bet I could... Hmm. I think Nomi could bite into this turny thing where the wheel was. Could you use a racket as a handle? I think that's the better option. Yeah, that would work. 
Although we're not always going to be here to pull it. One good hard pull should do it. Okay, focus. Work this out, May Browski. I'm hungry. I wonder what it's like to get stuck in a cave. Saw this thing on TV about people scuba diving caves. Which, for my money, is really stupid. Like, in normal swimming you can drown, but not in a cave with horses and stuff. Horses? I meant hoses. Why am I thinking of horses? Oh my god. Cave horses? What if you were trapped by a cave horse? I wonder how they'd pull you out. Probably just have to wing it and make some big complicated thing. I can't imagine there's a machine just for pulling scuba divers away from cave horses. Although, who knows what happens down there. Ah, focus May. Maybe I should just wing it through. This too. Just do it fast so I don't overthink it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, tie the racket to the turning thing and then tie that to the fan. But wait, how am I going to keep the fan from rolling up like a big fan fish? Okay, sorry, Nomi. I have to put you upside down like a vampire. I think they used to bury vampires upside down so they didn't. So when they tried to dig out of their coffins, they just dig down because ha ha ha, stupid vampire. Now you're in the center of the earth and you died. Again. Oh, look at our contraption. Hey, this looks great. I'm like an engineer or whatever makes machines. A machine engineer. All right. Let's give this baby a go. Okay, done. What? I think I fixed it. Now let's see what we've got here. Yeah, we did. We? What did you do? I engineered the elegant long-term solution. Ha <laughs> ha! God damn it. Way to go, May. Please don't fix anything ever again. Like, don't ever have a pet. Anything you have to maintain. Ah, uh, friggin' crap. I was totally gonna work. This is so typical. I'm gonna check the exit. If we are locked in this basement, I swear to God. Wait here. Damn it. Well, we're locked in. Ah, I knew this was gonna happen. Stupid, stupid bee. See if you can yell. We can cut a hole in the floor. We're in the basement. See if you can yell. It's not gonna work. Mrs. Miranda! It didn't work! Oh, we're not yelling that. <laughs> Well, this knob is really old and loose. Maybe I can, like, figure this out. I'll look around, too. Yeah, you go look around a whole bunch. <laughs> you saying our help ain't good? There's a bat. We could take the bat. How about I go get back, go get some of my handy-dandy tools from over yonder? Hmm. The one thing she could hear is this furnace. When it was broken. Broken things need to be broken. Hey, home slice. What are we doing here? Okay, we can get the bat now. Hmm. Well, it's the one tool I do know how to use. A uh, tool for beating ass. Here we go! Wah! How much ass do we need to beat? Is that enough? all over its ass. 
Oh, I think I finally got enough ass beating. <laughs> Suck it, you piece of crap furnace. Wow, that's pretty loud. Yeah, jeez. Surprised I can't hear that from back in town. Okay, cool, she's coming. Thank God. Uh, thank me, my like. Hey, Mrs. Miranda, you locked us in. Well, that was fun. Uh-huh. You all right? She gave us lemonade. Yeah. You not like lemonade? It's such a nice night out. You not like lemonade? It's fantastic. Then what's up? Nothing. Just tired. Worked all day. I'm all hyper. Good for you. Ugh, you're zero fun. Yup. Same girl, same. You need, like, some magical shit to, like, give you a new perspective. We're fresh out of cocaine, May. Let me know when that happens. Wouldn't want to miss it. Okay, do we just go, or... Where's that in here? Am I not, like, supposed to accomplish something with this? Yes. Ta-da! Now what? Well, that was exhilarating. And we can't go anywhere. Are we supposed to jump off the end on that tree? a firefly whisperer or something. You just like me, I guess. That's... You're an interesting person, Mabrowski. No, Mrs. Miranda is an interesting person. Granddad said being interesting is all you can hope to be. Yeah, no. Miranda is an interesting person. She, like, mummified a dude. Okay, you're more nine interesting. Woohoo! You know, I have to say, this would have been much less exciting evening if you weren't along for the ride. Along for the ride? See, I'm good to have around. I mean, you can certainly beat the shit out of a furnace. I can beat the shit out of anything. You should be, like, channeling that aggression you always have into something useful. Eh, Dr. Hank said way back I needed to repress it. Repress, not like learn to deal with it. It's specific. He specifically said repress. Uh, okay. Hmm. So, do you think Mrs. Miranda Lake pulled her husband's guts out? Isn't that what you do for mummies? I don't know, May. Do you think you'd have a stomach for it? Nope. It's probably took her a lot of heart. Yep. I wish she would explain it to us. I get it, May. She really wrecked him. That's probably... Okay, that probably stayed in place. Yeah, that should stay where it belongs. I'm leaving. Hey, you gotta live her your life. Bye. Time is... This is me gone. Hey, wait up. You're walking back to town. You've got a lot of gall, gall to say that. I'm calling the cops. Hardy har har har. Hey, we got something in our journal. Working, you're angry furnace. 
Who makes a mummy? Hey, Daddy O. How's work? You know, better than the glass factory. Is it? I've mined, I've ran machines. But now I get to slice steaks and hawk salamis. I mean, it's easier on the back, that's for sure. But, like, do you like it? I like having a paycheck. Fair. Paychecks, the sweetest meat of all. Agreed. Mom always goes to bed early. Alright. Up we go. Let's check our messages. And we've got some. Hey, that was fun. Let's do that again sometime. You're pretty handy when it comes to breaking stuff. I'm sure there's a job in there somewhere. Yeah, it's called demolition. You can actually get a job doing that. Holy shit, I found my calling. I'm glad I could help facilitate this. Oh, so I looked up people who attract insects. Seems to come down a lot to heat and various odors. They can't get enough of this. Guess not. Good night, May. Night! Hey, punk, what do you do tonight? Got trapped in a basement. Beat up a furnace. Right on, man. Night, night. Okay, well. That was fun. Let's get our dear May to bed. Bedtime! Yes, indeed. And we're going to go ahead and end this part here. Had a great time. I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye.